Beach towels. Lots of them. Occupying every chair in sight at 6 a.m. in the morning. Guess my country. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Yes, My Hair Has Gotten Blonder. My name is Evan Edinger, and today we're gonna be looking more into some fun Reddit content. Now, in last week's video, we looked at all the funny and cringy things that are just so uniquely American to say. However, you might think we went a bit hard on America. And so to balance it out, I thought today's video, we'll look back towards Europe, everyone's favorite country. The subreddit in question today is the Europe subreddit, and the reason I like this topic so much is because it feels more like everyone is laughing at themselves and at their own people rather than pointing fingers at others. It makes it a bit more of lighthearted fun. The question today is, how can you recognize tourists from your country? The red raw sunburn is a dead giveaway. Sun cream? Nah, mate. Give me blisters and skin cancer any day, which is replied to with, British tourists are the easiest to spot without a doubt. Now, something I've noticed is that people speak their language quietly when in a foreign country. British people behave the same exact way. An example, Morocco, as they would a bar in Manchester. Uh, they have no shame loudly announcing where they're from. People from Manchester, Mancunians, the pre proud people. And the OP as well following up with not trying to be offensive or anything, but if I see drunk people in the streets, they're typically English. Now, as someone who's traveled a lot, I don't necessarily have the same experience as this. I feel like, yes, British tourists, stereotypically, very sunburned. That's, yeah, that is the thing. You could probably recognize me like, oh, British. But in regards to loudly speaking English and being proud of where they're from and being really drunk, maybe this is offensive, I hope not. Or you're gonna back me up if you agree. We'll see. Australians. Australians travel a frick ton. Anytime I've traveled through Europe, I will always find an Aussie in some hostel, in somewhere, and they're usually drinking even if it's like 2 p.m. because they're like, mate, it's like 10 p.m. in Australia. And you're like, that was the worst Australian accent. Please die. <laughs> or go under the earth uh, die. Okay. If we are just looking at European countries though, it, I guess all these things do fit Britain. Australia is basically like Britain light. How to get canceled? What I want. If I see drunk people in the streets, they're typically English. How else do you cope with realizing you're in France? <laughs> Finnish men can be identified by their gray complexion, bad haircuts, and by the fact that every last one of them is wearing a variation of this shirt. <laughs> is this true, Finnish people? I'm pretty sure at one point in time, I've owned a variation of that shirt. Big fan of the plaids. But in regards to the gray complexion, I'm assuming that's just because there's not much sunlight up there? But there is during the summer months, right? They've got a lot of light. What? Czech tourists are easily recognizable. One, they're in Croatia. Two, they're there by car. And three, they brought pate with them. Is pate that like meat spread? <laughs> I didn't know what Czech tourists are like, but now I know how to check them out when I'm traveling. They're in Croatia. <laughs> if I lived near Croatia, I'd probably also drive to Croatia. It's a beautiful place. You can tell someone's a Canadian tourist because they're wearing a Canadian flag on every item of clothing and accessory because we're all told Europe bitterly hates Americans and we don't want to be confused with those guys. Also, some Americans apparently wear Canadian flags because they were told the same thing. <laughs> when I first moved to UK, that was something that I was actually told that if I pretend to be Canadian, I'll be hated less. Yeah, Americans think everyone loves them. Why? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure an American being confused with a Canadian would be more offended than a Canadian being called an American. Maybe it's because Canadians are always like, oh, sorry, no, I'm actually from Montreal. Montreal, that is Montreal and Toronto combined. A real place. Also, I do think it's kind of weird that people can't tell the difference between a Canadian and an American accent, because to me, it's just so easy. I'm speaking Americanly right now, but if I wanted to, I could talk Canadian. It's just a bit more of a through the nose type of thing. Maybe that was a bad accent. All Polish people like to wear tank tops, cargo shorts, <laughs> and socks and sandals. Also, you hear kurva. I've seen loads of Polish people while I've been traveling and I haven't really seen that get up. The socks and sandals though, I've heard that is a very big stereotype. Oh, cerveza, por favor, and a bag of chips. <laughs> It's cheese day, ain't it? I have yet to visit Ibiza or any of the other Spanish islands, but I've been told that that is like the number one destination that all British people holiday to. And so therefore they just butcher their Spanish and be like, Oi mate, una cerveza por favor and a bag of chips. <laughs> but I think you gotta give them credit. At least they're using Spanish in a way. Whining because there's no Italian food. Inability to stay silent for more than five minutes. To be fair, Italians do like to talk. I would know from an Italian state of New Jersey. Oh, I'm not gonna say that, but I feel like, do Italians really like Italian food that much when they're abroad? I guess everyone likes their own country's food, hence why English people are like, give me a bag of chips. Also, why would you say bag of chips? Wouldn't you say bag of crisps? Why would you have a bag full of hot potato wedges? I'm on to this person. When they sound kind of Dutch, but you're not sure, because they're not loud enough, that's when you know 
they're Belgian. In my head, if I was trying to spot a Belgian tourist, I'd probably just be looking for someone that sounded slightly French, but less rude about it. Belgians to me are like polite French people. How can I get canceled in every country? This video. I was in Florida a couple weeks ago. On one day it rained a bit. The Floridians ran for their lives like the apocalypse was coming. The normal tourists sought shelter calmly, but promptly. The Brits carry on as normal. <laughs> Brits don't even get that much rain, right? I feel like it's just a meme that it rains all the time in England. It rains, but it doesn't rain that much. It's just cloudy all the time. So if a cloud comes over when you're on holiday, you're like, oi. Slot London in it. Spain coming up here with no idea. We are so stealthy. I actually don't think I've ever like been able to identify someone as being a Spanish tourist. Now that I think about it, Spain, how are you so escondidas? <laughs> Is that the right word? However, this was followed up by someone that said, "You guys are always wearing those puffy jackets." Yes, I don't know why, but I think every Spanish person I've ever worked with in the office always had one of these puffy jackets. That's just a thing. Maybe in Spain, they just like the puffy jacket. Beach towels, lots of them. Occupying every chair in sight at 6 a.m. in the morning. Guess my country. Ooh, I actually don't know. That must be Germany. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we have a winner. Are, are Germans known for waking up? Oh, Germans are known for their schedules. They like to be punctual. So we got 6 a.m., family taking up all the chairs, putting the towels out, taking over. <laughs> Now that I think about it, the cruise that I went on earlier in the year, there were a lot of Germans and they did always have a large amount of floor space. So usually that I don't want to look like I come from a post-Soviet country frightened look on the face and the outfits that scream, I look like I come from a post-Soviet country anyway. Lithuania. I've been to Lithuania a couple times and I used to work in a Lithuanian startup. I'm not as experienced with that area of the world, but I could not identify a tourist from Lithuania in the slightest. What I can say is Lithuanians are very proud of being Lithuanian though, so that was nice. They always rot together with other Germans, as if it would be such a pain in the ass to speak English to strangers. Sind Sie auch Deutsche? This is like me though when I'm traveling, because when I find anyone else that speaks German on a trip, I'm like, Sprechen Sie auch Deutsch? Bitte? Ich brauche mehr U-Bahn. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just trying to get practice. Pasty white skin, GAA county jerseys, O'Neill shorts, and usually looking like they're not sure how to act. Followed up with, don't forget having the most contagious good mood and looking like they won the lottery. I don't know why, but every Irishman I've seen on vacation just seems so happy, like really, really happy. Because it's not raining, the alcohol is probably cheaper, and the girls are not slugs. <laughs> what the heck is a GAA county jersey? Do you guys wear jerseys with your county name on the back? Like, oh, I come from this county, here we go, super proud. O'Neill's shorts. I don't know what that means. I know O'Neill's is the name of a bar, so maybe just wearing shorts based on a bar. But I would say that most Irish people I've met traveling do just seem super happy and confident. Hmm, that's such a nice stereotype to have. Norwegians are the ones drinking heavily and pretending to be Swedes. Swedes are, of course, the ones drinking heavily and pretending to be Norwegians. <laughs> Wait a minute. Slovenians, massive amounts of expensive sports gear. Sport Billy is amateur compared to us. I have no clue what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> they talk really loudly because they think no one can understand them. Isn't Luxembourgish like an incredibly tiny dialect? Uh, that does make sense. It's like a bit of French and German and English. It's like a lot of things going on. Also, it's a small country. It's a nice tourist you found yourself there. Romanian tourists can be spotted by their accordion music. <laughs> is, is that a thing? <laughs> Loud, horrible English accents. I found that the Dutch English accent is the prettiest. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. If you think that the Dutch have a bad English accent, I would disagree. Maybe that's just some self-hate there. Every Dutch person I've ever met, I feel like speaks English better than most English people I know do. However, it is really funny how you can hear that when Dutch people speak English, sometimes it is a weird mix between American and British English, just because that's how they've learned it. And so they know both words and sometimes it can flip-flop. I find that endearing. If you spot an Invicta backpack, you can bet the dude's Italian. My friend Ellie was telling me about this. Supposedly, those backpacks are like huge in Italy. Everyone's got them. There you go. I'm actually gonna be on the lookout now when I'm traveling next, whenever this whole situation ends. All young Americans wear vans. There's no way that's just an American thing, okay? I'm, I'm wagging my finger. No, 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 no. I own a pair of vans, I am American, but everyone wears vans. You just go in a pair, they're just easy shoes to have. Is that really a thing? Well, that's how you can spot a tourist in these countries. If I left any out, uh, please leave me a comment below on how you can spot a tourist from your country. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Give it a big old thumbs up below if you'd like, or subscribe. I make new videos every single Sunday and Thursday. See you guys next week, Thursday and Sunday. Goodbye. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Hello everybody and hello everybody and hello everybody and welcome back to hello everybody and welcome back to hello everybody and welcome back to hello everybody and hello everybody hello everybody and hello everybody and welcome back to hello everybody hello everybody and welcome hello everybody and welcome back hello everybody and welcome back to hello everybody and welcome back to yes my hair has gotten blonder